Well, my background in physiotherapy is, uh, is a little different. Actually, I always wanted to become a medical missionary, first of all. And, and if I couldn't become a doctor, then I was just really interested to do anything in healthcare because that's, that's what excited me. So Back in Motion was kind of born by accident, just a little. I had the opportunity to work in a lot of different areas within the profession. Did some work in teaching hospitals through the university. I really enjoyed a time with sporting teams where I was able to travel as a physiotherapist. Got the chance to work overseas in the developing world. But by the time I landed in private practice, to be honest, I was a little disappointed and unfulfilled with a lot of the clinical philosophy that seemed to be the, the flavour of the day. I eventually put my money where my mouth was, all $356 at the time, and uh, launched a very small practice in the carport at home. Within about five months, we had wall-to-wall -wall patients from about five in the morning through to about 11 at night. So it really got off to a quick start. And then, of course, we had to consider what we wanted to do with what now was back in motion. The real purpose of our group isn't actually to just provide great physiotherapy services. That's part of our core business. The reason we exist, our purpose, is actually to be significant in the lives of others. And you can do that a lot of different ways. We just happen to be great at physiotherapy. The vision of our group, however, is to be the most loved and trusted providers of physiotherapy and related services Australia-wide. And those two words, love and trust, they are not the same thing. Love speaks to the customer experience, how well we treat our clients and whether we recognise them as a person who, who has a range of needs that we can assist with. Trust is about the credibility of our service. Can we actually deliver what we promise? We think we can do both and our vision is to become recognised for that Australia-wide. Clinically, our clients would recognise our brand mostly for results for life which is the name we give to our clinical philosophy, which is about tailoring our services to meet the long-term health and wellness of our clients. Back in Motion offers explosive growth in new clients. It delivers a best practice clinical model, and I think the most proven operational system that our industry has to offer. We're continually looking at new ways to develop and improve our group because we're committed to excellence. I think if you want to be part of a group that is progressive and you enjoy the thrill of owning your own practice and getting a lifestyle with a leveraged return on time and finance, really Back in Motion is a great opportunity. I often get asked about why people would actually want to join the Back in Motion Health Group and, and, and what's the partnership really all about. And I could sit here and I could list hundreds of different things that we offer to our directors in terms of the growth of their businesses. We could talk about IT, we could talk about system support, system design, compliance, marketing, recruitment, finance, uh, business mentoring, field support, field development, even lease negotiations are things that we would help our directors with. And when we talk about the partnership opportunity, we talk about if they grow, then we grow and that's fundamental to our success and I think that's what's held us in good stead to date. Whether you're looking at the Back in Motion Health Group because you're interested in the 20,000 plus hours that we spend developing our staff when it comes to clinical PD or you're just interested in increasing the footprint of your practice and the profitability of your practice, there really is something in it for everybody. The first moment that I saw a session that Jason was hosting at the APA, I grabbed the chance to just go in and hear what he had to say. I'd never met him. Uh, I could just feel something through the job ads that I thought I wanted to know more. And for me at the time, I was very young as a clinician. I'd only been a physio for two years. And to hear that there was someone in the industry actually uh, getting good business outcomes as well as good clinical outcomes excited me. I'd spent four years at university learning the clinical side. I'd done a couple of years of practice myself. I really wanted to learn how to run a successful physiotherapy business not just learn how to be a physiotherapist and have a job. And so the mentoring in business, in marketing, in implementing systems, getting continual support from people at our national support office was what attracted me to the group. For me, the opportunity in terms of work-life balance at Back in Motion is that I could actually have a business. Um, and to me, a business is something that can work without you. So to do the hard work initially, to set the systems up, set the processes up in the practice, um, get things running as a business so that it doesn't all rely on me, which is what was previously happening before I joined Back in Motion. And then when that is happening, allow me to actually step back and have a lifestyle where I've been able to have uh, a couple of kids in the last two years with my wife and spend time at home with them and just make sure I'm not missing out on those family moments. There's no doubt to me that I would not have been able to achieve 
what I'm doing now without back in motion. And I don't think I would have learned how to do it in any other setting. I think the point that made me realise that I wanted to become part of Back in Motion as a director was really just seeing how much support that I got given as a principal and realising uh, how I could really make that my own if I was able to own a, a business. So seeing the support that I got from uh, the other physios within the network, the guys at the support office, made me realise that yeah, this was the brand that I wanted to be part of. I've got friends who own their own business uh, in, in physio and, and I see what they have to do and I see what I'm able to do and we're leaps and bounds ahead of them. It's all the little things, it's the ability that I have to contact the multitude of professionals within the network at any sort of time of the day, um, at any step in the decision making process that I have with, the, with developing my business and it's having that peer support, the managerial support is what makes it so attractive. Physiotherapy began for me, in fact, 16 years ago. I actually have to be slightly honest, there was a girl I liked that did physio, so I ended up doing physio uh, with her and for her, and luckily for me, she ended up becoming my wife. I worked in a private practice setting, and then after a couple of years, I decided I wanted to do my own thing and had my own set of values that I wanted to impart on the community that I worked with as a physiotherapist. So when I joined Back in Motion, I realised that having the support of an accounting department, a HR department, a marketing department, um, having someone that works on so many different aspects of the business with me and for me, that I was actually able to start running a, a really effective and successful business. The change for me was first financially, from a non-financial point of view, was just to be able to become part of a, a larger purpose or goal in terms of we're all working together, we're all supporting one another to achieve those goals and that in itself has been so, so rewarding for me personally. I've graduated in 82 and started a private practice in 1990 with a partner and I was in partnership uh, at Brighton at the very same place I am now. He left the business in 2005 which meant that I had to change the way I was working and it certainly snowed me under and I had a lot of difficulty finding other staff. At that stage I was very frustrated and was considering even giving it away. I heard about Back in Motion through a fellow tutor who had joined. I looked into it and it turned out that uh, I found the ethics and the principles and the values to be exactly uh, mine. Within weeks of me joining, I already had staff within a very short period of time, energetic young people who, who were very keen, made it a, a, a really exciting time for me. And it also gave me the confidence to expand the business. The beauty of Back in Motion was immediately you get access to support in every single area. It was a revelation for me to be able to frankly discuss the things that work, the things that don't work. It was very exciting uh, to, to have a chance to chat with people very openly. You don't get your work-life balance from continuing on, soldiering on on your own. Uh, being stuck in those rooms, having to see more clients so that you can pay the bills which are ever increasing. If we're able to group our, our, our services so that we can actually start making a difference in terms of training, seeing more people, getting out there and marketing, pushing the profession more, this is going to benefit the profession quite dramatically and it's already started to do so. The best part of joining Back in Motion is you get to journey with other like-minded people. They know how to work hard but also have fun and there are hundreds now who make up our team. We are fast pursuing our next key milestone, affectionately dubbed 750-100. That is 100 flagship practices in seven states and territories which will easily represent more than a $50 million group. We think that is a, an exciting adventure to be pursuing. The question is whether you think you would like to be part of that.